All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Nick Sissa here. Not live because it's kind of recorded, I'm assuming. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm going to do the story about the 1865 burning of the University of Alabama. My roommate is a big history junkie, so he's told me this story many times. I don't remember all the details, but I'm going to go off memory. So days before, uh, Ulyss er, Robert E. Lee uh, surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, Union troops marched on, it was like late March till early April. It's like April 3rd when the burning actually took place. I believe. Uh, they marched from Birmingham to Tuscaloosa, which is about 45, 44 miles, you know, something like that. So a long walk, long march. So anyways, they get down to Tuscaloosa and they start trying to burn everything that could be a valuable, uh, uh, could be a value uh, to the rebel cause, as they would quote it. Um, uh, and as many of you may not know, Alabama was considered the West Point of the South, which West Point is a very, very big, prosperous military academy um, up in Virginia, I believe. Um, what? New York. New York. Okay. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> um, so anyways, people, uh, people in downtown uh, Tuscaloosa get word uh, they're trying to disconnect the bridge that connects Northport to Tuscaloosa itself. Their efforts failed, so in attempts to warn the University of Alabama campus, um, people ran down University Boulevard to tell people, hey, this invasion is taking place. And so the university president, uh, I think his name was Garland, sends his 16-year-old troops, who are the only people attending the university at the time, uh, to confront the soldiers uh, at, the inter at the intersection of University Boulevard and Greensboro Avenue. Uh, <laughs> well, the Union troops only had one casualty, um, so it was very quick that the university president realized that this was not going to end up pretty, you know, looking good for them. So he quickly called off his, uh, his, his surge, and they surrendered, and only very few buildings were spared for the University of Alabama campus. Uh, that's the report. Thank you, and I'm Nexusa.